The gun grabbers around the globe think they have it made. The United Nations is done with its dirty work, finalizing the details of the so-called Small Arms Treaty. With the full backing of President Obama, now in his last year in office, time is running out until an all-out Senate ratification showdown over this outrageous gun control scheme. Hello, this is Dudley Brown, President of the National Association for Gun Rights. Thank you for listening to this important message. If you and I are going to beat this anti-gun treaty, we simply must fight back now before it's too late. The United Nations is issuing its first annual report on this treaty on May 31st. This report will detail how well countries have complied with the treaty and identify ongoing problems. And you and I both know gun grabbers will instantly point to the United States as their key hurdle and demand immediate treaty adoption. The truth is, since his first day in the Oval Office, the UN Small Arms Treaty has been President Obama's number one priority. Reading through the details of the treaty, it's hard to see how our Second Amendment could survive this assault. Article 5 of the treaty mandates countries establish a national control list, also known as a national gun registration database. And you and I both know gun registration is just the first step toward outright confiscation. In fact, the UN is already preparing to take the next step with new international small arms control standards. Their goal is to impose these radical anti-gun initiatives on every nation who signs the UN Small Arms Treaty. Introductory language already includes mandated national screening for all persons seeking to own guns giving bureaucrats the final say on whether or not you'll be allowed, licenses for guns and ammo sales, and perhaps even bans on certain types of firearms. These bans could include anything from semi-auto rifles to shotguns and handguns. Restrictions on how many guns and how much ammo any properly licensed individual may legally own. Bans on magazines holding more than 10 rounds. Bans on owning a firearm for self-defense unless a citizen can somehow demonstrate the need and get federal government approval. That's why the National Association for Gun Rights is leading the fight to stop the UN's so-called Small Arms Treaty. With the support of good folks like you, our efforts over the past few years have stymied President Obama and Harry Reid every time they've sought to ram gun control through the Senate. As Washington, D.C.'s premier no-compromise pro-gun organization, the five million member National Association for Gun Rights is changing the game. We're effective because we don't cozy up to politicians. We don't cut smoky backroom deals. We're not part of Washington, D.C.'s cocktail circuit. Instead, we exist for one reason. That's defending our Second Amendment from all assaults, regardless of where they come from. In fact, as Senator Rand Paul stated, quotes, Without the National Association for Gun Rights' bare-knuckled, no-compromise tactics, I believe President Obama would have already succeeded in passing any number of gun control schemes. Close quotes. But the stakes couldn't be higher with the UN Small Arms Treaty. So your action today could not be more vital. Already, parts of the UN's radical agenda are slipping through covertly. The anti-gun executive orders President Obama has issued during his presidency are all rooted in the demands of the UN Small Arms Treaty. In fact, Obama's State Department even bragged that Project Gunrunner and Operation Fast and Furious are implementations of the UN's anti-Second Amendment agenda. With time running out in the Obama presidency, this fight is going to move fast. That's why we must turn up the heat on Congress right now, before it's too late. So I have to ask, do you believe the U.S. Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and the Second Amendment are the supreme law of the land? Do you believe any attempt by the United Nations to subvert or supersede your constitutional rights must be opposed? If you say yes to these questions, I hope we can count on you to help us fight any and all implementations of this global gun grab. With your immediate help, the National Association for Gun Rights will continue to turn up the heat on members of Congress who are working to implement the UN Small Arms Treaty with our Banner Bomb program. That means deploying hard-hitting internet, newspaper, radio, and even TV ads, if funding permits, to mobilize gun owners around the country to lobby weak-kneed senators to defend our gun rights. The whole nine yards. Of course, a program of this scale is only possible with the support of pro-Second Amendment patriots like you. Perhaps like some folks, you could afford a contribution of $500 or $250 or even $100. Or if that's too much, perhaps all you can give right now is $50 or $25. Every dollar counts in this fight. So please be as generous as you can. This is not a fight we can afford to lose. 
I hope you agree. If so, please agree to your most generous contribution of $500, $250, $100, $50, or $25 right away. Thank you in advance for your time and money devoted to defending our Second Amendment rights.